So this uh, question is about vector geometry and then showing that uh, basically the two free points lie in a straight line. So it says OPQ is a triangle such that OP is P and OQ is 2Q. So annotating the diagram a bit, we've got P, OP, and OQ will be 2Q. R is the midpoint of OP, so R is the midpoint of OP, so we'll put that on there, so this is a ratio of 1 to 1. And S is the point PQ, on PQ, such so PS to SQ, PS to SQ is in the ratio of 3 to 1, so it's 3 to 1. T is the point such that OQ is equal to 2QT, so we need to add a point here, which is half the length of this length here, or well, basically OQ is 2 times QT. So that means that that vector there is, in fact, Q. Right, write down the vector PQ in terms of P and Q. So PQ will be now, to go to P to Q, so we want to go from there to there, but the route that we need to go is PO plus OQ. Now you need to write this bit down first. It's very, very, very important that you do. Now we're going against the arrow here, so it'll be minus P plus 2Q. And normally we will write that as 2Q minus P. We just swap these over. Write the vector RS in P in terms of P and Q. So we'll write, draw on RS. So RS will be the same as going to RP plus PS, which is the same as going RP. Now, PS is three quarters, because this is in the ratio of three to one, of vector PQ, which we've just found. So that will be equal to, now this is going to be a half of P, because it's half the distance, plus three quarters of 2P minus, 2Q minus P. Expanding the bracket, we get a half P plus uh, 3 over 2, 3 quarters times 2 is 3 over 2Q minus 3 over 4P. Expanding that bracket. All right, before we go on, just remember what we've got to do is uh, we've got to use a vector method to prove that R, S, T lie on the straight line. And part of this is to find the vector R, S, which we're in the process of finding. Now we would need to collect together like terms. So just use the fraction button on your calculator. That's going to give me uh, 3 over 2Q, then a half minus 3 quarters is minus a quarter P. However, you might note that this is the same, if you take out a quarter, this is the same as six Q, uh, quarter times 6Q minus P. If you take out a quarter from this, this is what you get. If you think about a quarter, is 6, uh, 3 over 2. 6 over 4 is 3 over 2. Okay, this will be important to do the last part. The last part we're asked to find, show that the point R, S, and T lie in a straight line. So to, to do that, we need to find the vector R, T. And if it's some multiple of the vector R, S, i.e. if we get an, a, 6P minus, a 6Q minus P in our vector, then R, S, and T lie on the straight line because you are using the same point R. So RT is equal to RO plus OT. So that's going to be equal to minus a half P because you're going against the arrow, because the arrow is that way, plus three lots of Q, which we're going to write as three Q minus a half P. Now, if we take out half as a common factor, we will be left with six Q minus P. And then, hence, RT is equal to some multiple of RS. And therefore, hence, RS and T are on a straight line. Because the point R is common in both vectors. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, use a vector method to show that three points lie on a straight line. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.